Thank you uh, so much for being here. And I'm, uh, in, like a lot of us, an insane Game of Thrones fan to the point of uh, madness. Uh, but I wanted to start by trying to put you at ease because I've heard you really, you really don't like doing talk shows. It makes you very nervous. Is yes, that right? I'm, I'm terrified right now. You're terrified. Yes. Why are you terrified? Look at us. We're idiots. You're. Well, in a, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I do have yeah. a crush on Ron Swanson. He's sitting right there. Does that put you at ease at all? I'm. I'm. A little shy. You're a little right shy? Now. But I, I think uh, you could join Game of Thrones with this situation. Thank you. I'm also a little nervous to be seated next to the House of Lannister. <laughs> <laughs> Man, he's smooth. I'm gonna uh, my P's and Q's. My God, he has, he has a raw sensuality that's just emanating. It's, it's too much. It's too much. It's too much sensuality. I had trouble sitting next to him. I want to touch him. Yeah, well, please, let's just try and get this thing back on course, if we can. <laughs> Uh, Lena, um, as I said, uh, I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan, and like a lot of people, the episode last Sunday yes. made my eyes melt out of my head. It was so intense. Everyone's talking about it. Have you spoken to your castmates? Because yes. there's a lot of castmates that will no longer be reporting to work. A lot of them, and I don't want, spoiler alert, you know, but a yes. lot of intense stuff goes down in the last episode. And have you talked to your friends? Did they see this I, coming? I rang Richard, who plays Rob, straight after, and he said he hasn't watched it because he's so upset to be leaving. Yeah. And then I spoke to Michelle Fairley, who said, weirdly, she was in the doctors with a throat infection. Really? Yeah. As if the loss of her character has now made her sick. Kind of mimicking life and art. Mimicking life. Yes. I think a throat infection doesn't come close to what happened <laughs> no, no, in no. that episode. You remember how... Oh, she... oh yes, yeah, yes, yeah. that's right. I'm sorry, I forgot. Um, I mean... Uh, I think need to forget. No, no, no. It's, it was so intense, and I'm curious, does this make you worry? I mean, this is such a terrific show, but one of the things that makes it so terrific is that anybody can go at any time. Yeah. Does this make you live in mortal fear? Yeah. I mean, have you read the books? Do you know what happens to your character? Have you read ahead? I, I know I'm still living, but I admitted while sitting next to George that I hadn't read the books, and right. now I fear for my life. Oh, really? Yeah. He may become angry now that you haven't read his yes. books. And you'll be hit by a car, which is very... That doesn't happen much in that realm. Uh, <laughs> it's a time jump. A cab is going to hit you. Fans are not shy about their really intense feelings about your character, yes. Queen Cersei. They, she, is, she is tough. I find some redeeming qualities in her myself. But, but she... Fans... Can some of them really hate her? And they let you know that, don't they? Yes, yes. They're, they're not... I mean, I guess it's a compliment. You know, when, it somebody, is. when yeah. you're buying a table and someone's like, you that bitch off uh... <laughs> What is it about tonight's show? <laughs> I blame Offerman. I really do. He, he did this. Uh, it's a compliment. People really do... But people get that mad at you? Yes, all people say, I love her, and I kind of worry more for them. <laughs> She's everything I am in secret. <laughs> yes. I would think there is some protection, because it is a compliment. They love the character that you're playing. When I go to a restaurant and someone's like, I hate that Conan guy, to me, it's me, you know? <laughs> I can't go, I know, what a character. <laughs> What is it? It must be difficult. Uh, you have to wear, I mean, everyone has to be in full costume for this, but I've heard that you wear an extremely restrictive corset for this show. Is that yeah. right? Yes, they lock you in. And then on top of that, they put belts and, you know, at kind of 5 a.m., it's not fun because you just want to eat breakfast. That's me before every show. They, they put me into Spanx. Uh, <laughs> they look various good. girdles and trusses to hold me in. Um, and then what happens? You're wearing that all day. You can't get out of it. You can't get out of it. It's good. It kind of makes you angry. So I channel that uh -huh. for Cersei. And then when they take it off, it's heaven. Oh, that part. It's like that the, part's amazing. Because you felt this way all day, and then they suddenly they release it. It goes the release, and then the release. Yes. Oh, so that was a wig, by the way. Yeah. So, <laughs> I was like, why are you wearing a helmet? Uh, 